is a live picture and obviously a major wow. fire in a large building in the South Bronx region of New York City. That's a live picture and obviously the fire department in the Bronx have their problems. My goodness, that's a huge place. That's the very area where President Carter trod just a few days ago. With one out now, two to nothing. 
That's a live shot again of that fire in the South Bronx that Keith called to your attention just a few moments ago. Wonder how many alarms are involved, but as Keith said, the fire department really has its work cut out for it. Here at you. Six. News item, Keith. I've just had word that that fire we've shown in the South Bronx, first the pitch. Wild wow. off. That fire in the South Bronx, fortunately, no lives in danger. It's an abandoned apartment building, and the problem is to get the fire out and prevent it from spreading, of course, but at least no lives in danger. That's good news. Two and two for the Yankee third baseman. Sharp man. I don't know whether that fire in the South Bronx has subsided or has been mitigated, but still remains in diversified areas of that abandoned apartment building. But we emphasize as a news matter that which we stated earlier, no lives endangered, it was an abandoned apartment building. That's Steve Yeager. Hurt tonight, home run tonight. Well, it looks like that fire is just about out, Keith. Fire department deserves a lot of credit for their prompt action, assuming our surmisal is correct. An old building like that, particularly a vacant building, can get out of hand pretty quick. But that building was vacant, as we're told. occupied apartment house in the Bronx for less than a thousand dollars. By taking advantage of the city's three-year tax moratorium, you can collect several thousand a month while paying no taxes. Provide heat and services infrequently and only under duress. No maintenance. A few promises will keep the rents coming in until the tenants give up in disgust. Then two hundred dollars will buy you a first-class arson job. Federally subsidized fire insurance is required by law. A quick settlement with few questions put you ahead by seventy or eighty thousand dollars. 